So you're in a dilemma right now. You're in the application process and you got accepted into PT school. Congratulations, but you're waiting to hear back or get accepted into your top choice program. Now the way that PT school works is sometimes it's not as convenient as everyone's giving you an answer at one time. Sometimes it just kind of happens earlier, just enough time where it happens later and you don't know what to do. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and some advice on how to address that situation. What's going on everyone? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into PT school, baby. <laughs> So it's this application process, right? And you have gone through your essays and you submitted everything. And now we are waiting for interviewing. We have interviewed and we're waiting for our answer, whether you're accepted or rejected. And unfortunately, there is a time where people, where schools will tell you, hey, like we'll give you a response right away, but you have to let us know and confirm your spot by this date. But then as you're waiting, you realize I got an interview for my top choice program or a program that you really want to get into. And that's going to be after the fact of you giving a confirmation answer. So what do you do at that point? Do you accept it and then just deny this interview? Or do you deny this first interview and then, and then take your chances for this one? What is this going to look like? So check this out. This is my best advice to you. There are two ways that I really would go about this. Number one, no matter where you get into PT school or graduate from, you're going to be a doctor of PT and you're going to be at the equal level, whether you're from the number one program or the hundredth program, you still graduate as a doctor of physical therapist with the same license. Yeah, maybe the number one program, you'll have a higher level of education and higher quality. But at the end of the day, when you're getting hired, the clinic is going to just look at, okay, you have the same degree. Now what's your personality like or your skills? And the, the, the person with the better application and skills is going to get that job, right? So what I'm trying to say is, if you get accepting and you already have a goal and ticket to become a doctor of PT, my advice to you is go for it. That is the first thing, that is awesome. And unless you have a lot of confidence in yourself, which I hope you do, and hopefully you have the luxury of choices, then you can decide, okay, which program do I wanna to get to? But I mean, if we're nickel and diming and you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe with my GPA and my application, I got into these programs, and someone gave you an opportunity and said, hey, I'm, I believe in you. I'm gonna accept you into our program. Take that opportunity, take that golden ticket and say, yes, I'm gonna double down and say, yes, I'm gonna go into your program. And even though I'm waiting for some other programs later on, forget it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm already gonna accept and, and uh, have my choice here. That's the first off, right? Now, second off, Let's say you're a pretty good applicant, pretty strong, GPA is pretty high, GRE is pretty high. You felt like you have pretty good interviewing skills and a program or programs have accepted you, but you're still waiting for your top choice program. And that doesn't come till a little bit later. What do you do in that situation? This is my advice to you. It is totally okay, it is totally okay to be able to accept the position to pay that down payment of a couple hundred, maybe a thousand dollars, and maybe even start the program, right, for a couple weeks. And then while that's going on, you're able to interview and then get an answer to your top choice program. And it's totally normal. I've had students in my cohort, and I've understood this from other students that I've coached where they accepted, paid the down payment, they're waiting for their top choice, and once they got that acceptance from their top choice, they actually just withdrew from this program, took the loss on the money, and then went into their top choice program. And I wanna say that's okay. That's okay, absolutely okay to do. And students feel like apprehensive about doing something like that, but hey, I mean, if you've had a dream of going to your top choice for a long time, 
Did I say go for it? I don't want you to regret settling for this and then getting acceptance here and just because you're like, ah, oh, I don't wanna waste a thousand dollars or a couple hundred dollars and, you know, and withdraw from this program and regret not going to your top choice, right? That's the case, I mean, what's a what's thousand dollars compared to the hundreds of thousands of dollars that you're gonna get in student loan debt? <laughs> Um, and also a lifetime of regret, right? So I hope that helps you in this situation when, and hopefully you are in a fortunate situation like that to uh, figure out. But there's nothing on the internet that really gives you advice on that. And I hope that what I have shared with you today gives you some comfort, gives you some validation as far as what you're feeling, and maybe even some direction as far as what you should or can do in the future. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up.